Hello kids, today we're going on an adventure under the sea. Do you all know about crabs? Crabs have big claws, but hey, have you ever wondered how a big crab we see comes to be? What is its life story like? Today we're going to learn about the life cycle of a crab. A tiny beginning from an egg. Our story begins with the mother crab. Can you see all the tiny things under her belly? Those are crab eggs. The mother crab takes very good care of her eggs until they are ready to hatch into larvae. Oh, my little ones, be patient. We will meet very soon. Floating in the sea, the zoea larva. When the baby crabs hatch from their eggs, they don't look like the crabs we know at all. They are super tiny and just float around in the sea. This stage is called the zoea larva. The zoea has to be careful of other sea animals that might eat it. It needs to eat tiny food in the water to grow. Whoosh! Floating in the wide open sea, let's find something yummy to eat. Starting to take shape, the megalopa larva. After the zoea eats a lot of food, it grows by molting and transforms again. This time, it looks a bit like a mix between a small shrimp and a crab. It has started to grow tiny legs. We call this the megalopa larva. The megalopa starts to use its little legs to walk and find food and it tries to find hiding places under rocks or sea plants. Heave ho! Where is it safe? I'd better hide over here. Becoming a small crab, the juvenile crab. Yay! Finally! The megalopa will go through its final transformation and become a juvenile crab. Do you see? Now it looks like the crab we're familiar with, but it's still very tiny. The juvenile crab lives along the seashore, in mangrove forests or under rocks to find food and hide from danger. Click, clack, click, clack. This is so much fun. I need to eat up so I can grow big and strong quickly. Growing and molting. The juvenile crab eats a lot of food and then molts repeatedly to get bigger. Molting is when the crab sheds its old, tight shell and creates a new, bigger one to replace it. It's just like when we grow and our old clothes get too tight, so we have to wear new, bigger ones. And it's not just the juvenile crabs. Even when they are tiny larvae like the zoea and megalopa, they have to molt too. Think about it. A crab's shell is hard, right? If they don't shed their shells, they can't get any bigger. So every time they need to grow, they have to peel off their old tight shell to make space for their new, larger body. The adult crab, ready for the next generation. After molting many times, the juvenile crab becomes a strong and fully grown adult crab. Adult crabs are the ones that are ready to reproduce and give birth to new baby crabs. The crab's life cycle will then continue, spinning around and around endlessly. Adult crabs are big eaters too. They eat both plants and small animals in the sea. They eat everything from seaweed to small fish and shells to even the remains of dead animals in the sea to keep their bodies strong and full of energy. And do you know how we can tell which one is a male crab and which one is a female crab? It's super easy. We just have to look at the crab's abdomen, its belly. A male crab has a narrow and pointed abdomen like a small triangle or a little monument. 
strong and ready for anything that's a male crab like me. A female crab has a wider and rounder abdomen, like a semicircle or a dome. This is because the female crab needs this wide space to carry her baby eggs. A single female blue swimming crab can have anywhere from about 120,000 to 3 million eggs. My wide belly is for taking care of my little babies. A crab's super secret, they can regenerate. There's something even more amazing, kids. Did you know that a crab, if it accidentally loses a leg or a claw, it's okay? Because crabs have a super special ability to regenerate their limbs, just like a superhero in the movies. So how do they grow back? It happens when the crab molts. When the crab sheds its old tight shell to make a new bigger one, if it has lost a leg or a claw, it will grow a new one along with the new shell. How cool is that? Sometimes the newly grown leg or claw might be a little smaller than the original one, but as the crab continues to molt, it will gradually grow back to its normal size. Yay, my leg is back. Now I can swim properly again. Let's help take care of the sea. See kids? A crab has to go through so much to become a big adult. And they even have that amazing ability to regrow their limbs. We also learned how to tell male and female crabs apart. Therefore, we must all help take care of our seas and keep them clean. Don't throw trash into the ocean so that our crab friends and other sea animals can have a safe and lovely home. I hope you all learned something new and have grown to love crabs even more. See you in the next clip. Bye-bye.